Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video we're going to be talking about the first few days after you have released your directory website. This is the website right here on Search Console and as you can see it says processing data. Please check it again in a day or so. However, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use to bypass this. So if I click here and I click on Harbor, okay, and I go on most recent date, I don't really care about people seeing the Search Console of Harbor. You can see 26 quick 239 impressions, completely irrelevant to what we're talking about. But if I then go back to my other project and I'm going to click on Wedding Directory Texas, you can actually see that by kind of messing with the system a little bit, we can actually see the number, we can see the most recent date, so the number of impressions for yesterday, okay, which yesterday was the day that this website was made. And you can actually see these are real impressions, which is super, super interesting. So Galveston wedding videographer, right? If I go on Google and search that, maybe we can see that we're actually on Google already. It looks like we're not. Uh, so if I click on this, maybe we can see what position we're in. So we'll probably be average position 13. So we'll click here. Uh, there it is, weddingdirectorytexas.com. So we're actually ranking 13th for a keyword that, you know, if you're a wedding videographer, maybe you're interested in this keyword already, right? We're actually ranking above Yelp, if you just think about that and how ridiculous that actually is. Now, a couple of things. Obviously, Google does give new websites a bit of a boost, so there's that to take into account. But I just find it very, very interesting that we are already ranking on Google. So as you can see, you can't actually click um, the last three months to change it, but you can do the little trick that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So let's have another look at a couple of things. If I use site weddingdirectorytexas.com, you can actually see that there are over 300 index pages already. Now, I expect there to be many, many more than 300, but for some reason, Google has started to cap um, results at uh, 30 pages. So if I go here, you can see this, this is now capped. Uh, we have 283 at least index pages in less than 24 hours, which if you know anything about SEO, you would know that that's actually pretty impressive. It would take much longer normally than, uh, than this for these pages to get indexed. Now, all I did, as I showed you at the beginning of the last video, is I just submitted the um, sitemap. So if I click on sitemaps, you'll see discovered pages 5,185 status of success, and then I submitted for manual indexing the home page, and then a couple of what we like to call index pages. So if I click on cities, you'll see URL is on Google. Categories, URL is on Google, I would guess. It is also on Google. So that is how we've started to get all of these pages indexed, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you one more very, very interesting thing, okay? And a lot of people won't know what this means, well, I'm gonna explain it to you. So I'm just gonna go on Excel draw real quick because this is slightly complicated. So we are we are using a cache, cache, whatever the fuck it's called. We are using a cache, okay? We can use the cache to understand how many indexed, or how many crawled pages we have. Why? because the amount of um, documents in the cache equals the amount of crawled pages, right? So that might not make too much sense to people if you don't really know what I'm talking about, but if you've watched the last three videos, you'll know that we have a MongoDB cache. So basically what that means is if I click a result here, for example, so Duncanville, uh, band. So what does that mean? It means top wedding bands in uh, Duncanville, Texas, right? So because this is already on Google, if I just go back here, you'll see it's here. Okay, that means Google has crawled the page. That has then activated the third party API, right? So let's just draw this out, okay? There are kind of three parts to this from what I can see in my head, okay? So we we have the Google Places V1 API, right? And then we have the Google crawlers, right? Which are crawling the website. And then we have the MongoDB cache or cache, okay? So how does this work? 
basically the Google crawlers come onto the website and they crawl the website and they when they go on the page when they crawl the page it activates the Google places v1 API right so it sends the call to Google Google comes back and says um, you know these are the results for wedding bands in Duncanville Texas okay here we go Mike's jewelers what the hell oh because it's like wedding band as in like the, the ring itself so it's kind of confusing but that's okay um, there we go ice house band stage and lighting groove night wedding band etc etc right um, so that sends the call and then what happens is we store that information in our MongoDB and then when Google calls, crawls the website again, instead of going to the V1 API, it will actually go to the MongoDB cache, okay? This process is very, very important because otherwise, every single time Google crawls your website, which could be you know, five times a week, it will send a call to Google, right? Which will cost you money. So instead of costing you money, we use the information that is stored in MongoDB for six months, right? Six months. If you want fresher data, if you need fresher data, if you think that that's gonna help you rank, then you can change this to one month, okay? And the really cool thing about this is we actually, if you've watched the previous videos in this series, we have a 200 monthly free credits from Google, right? So as long as you are only, if, as long as you only have 5,000 pages, okay, then you will own, and your uh, cash is one month instead of one week or one day, this entire system will not cost you any money, right? That's not a guarantee. Please check that. Please make sure. Please, 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 please check because, you know, we've spent a lot of money on Google credits in the last month or so from my experimentation. I'm building in public. I'm experimenting to try and save you guys money. This, from what I can see, is basically a free system because Google gives you 200 monthly free credits, okay? Now, how many pages do you think have been crawled out of the 5,000, if I click on pages, uh, sorry, sitemaps, we have 5,185. How many of those do you think have been crawled, okay? Just pause the video and just think about that for one second. Okay, so if you said 2,000, then, oh, sorry, 1,685, then you would have been correct, okay? So that's pretty crazy. That's one third of the website has already been crawled, okay? So you can see, if I click on results here, this one right here, you can see these are wedding centerpieces in Austin, Texas. Uh, we can see this business, Bouquets of Austin, or, uh, of Austin, yeah. We have the address, the ratings, the reviews total, the website, and the phone number, right? That is now cached. So if I go, let's just search this because um, I guess this is, would be a good way to find uh, the, this um, exact page. So we don't know if it's indexed, okay, but it's been crawled. So it looks like it hasn't been indexed yet, but if I do site wedding directory Texas and then paste this, uh, we should be able to see, no, okay. So it looks like it's been crawled, but not indexed, okay? Because you can't see it here. Um, it looks like it's not here. However, if I go slightly further down, or yeah, let's just try and find one that's both crawled and indexed. So let's do the same thing but this time wedding bakeries. Okay, no, it looks like that is also not indexed. That's fine. Wedding catering. Okay, anyway, all of these ones here, they're all crawled and indexed, but a lot of these, it looks like they're actually not um, indexed. So if I just go next here, maybe we can find one. Wedding bridal shower in Weatherford, Texas. Let's see if that's indexed. There we go, top wedding bridal shower in Weatherford, Texas, okay? So if I click this, you'll see, did you see how quickly that loaded, right? I have never been on this page. Nobody has ever been on this page except Google's crawlers, okay? But when I clicked that, it was instant, okay? Because it's cached. It's, instead of going, like I was showing before, instead of going and sending the call to Google Places, which might take 0 0.5 or one second or 1.5 seconds, instead, it's calling my MongoDB, which is instant, okay? So this system, this is what I'm trying to help people build. You can see that Google seems to like crawling and sending this 
API call. And people say they don't know the difference, but it's Google. Trust me, they know the fucking difference. It seems to me that this is the best way to do it. Google, allow Google to send the API calls and then cache the results. And then you basically have a static website. I know it's not static. I understand that. But it's almost static. But, okay, and this is a really big but. If I do site, uh, find a plumber in New York.com, this is a statically built website that we built live on the channel. And you can see it only has two index pages. But there's basically no difference between this website and this website. It's just one of them was static from the beginning. And the second one, the Wedding Directory Texas, is static. Well, it's not, it's never static, it's dynamic, but it, it's like it's a static website because Google crawls the website, sends all of those API calls, builds it, you cache the results, but Google prefers this dynamic generation of the website. Don't ask me why, it doesn't really make sense to me, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. You can see that this is a much better system than statically building from the beginning because you can see that this has only got two index pages. I've manually submitted 50 of these pages. None of them are getting indexed. So the way to do this is this system right here. Google crawls your website, sends the API calls. You cache those results. It's very, very quick for any users that then come onto the website. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to know how to launch your own directory website.